review pelvic lumbar motion just to really understand the relationship between the pelvis and how it moves and the effect on the lumbar spine. So here we can see people quote touching their toes right and so we look at that and we might say oh there's some hip flexion which there is but there's also some spinal flexion some lumbar spinal flexion and the relationship between the the pelvic femur hip flexion and the lumbar spine flexion is is important to figure out what's going on in, in somebody and what their limitations muscularly or movement wise could be. So here's a normal. There's hip flexion plus some lumbar motion. Here you see there's a limited hip flexion, right? There's hardly any lip, hip flexion. And she's being able to reach towards her toes with spinal flexion. And the third situation is the opposite. She has normal hip flexion, pelvis on femur, but no spinal flexion. So how does our, our pelvic tilt affect our spine? So we can have posterior and anterior pelvic tilt, just like we saw in the posture lab analysis, and it depends on the relationship between certain muscles. So pulling down on your hip flexors and your rectus spinae can pull you into an anterior pelvic tilt, which results in lumbar spine extension, and the hamstrings and glutes um, opposed by the rectus abdominis can kind of pull you into posterior tilt, which flattens your spine or flexes it. Um, and then we can see the different postures, anterior pelvic tilt or arcophosis lordosis or posterior pelvic tilt, which can result in a sway back spine. And here's a little bit uh, clearer diagram. This one is neutral. Here's your pelvis and your femur and your lumbar spine. If you go into anterior pelvic tilt, you will pull this lumbar spine more into lordosis or extension. If you go into posterior pelvic tilt, you will flatten the spine or flex it. And so here are two examples. Um, in the green, is that in anterior or posterior pelvic tilt? And what is the resulting lumbar spine flexion or extension? So it looks here like it's going into posterior tilt, which will essentially flex the 